What's going on guys? Welcome to a Minecraft Redstone video. Finally, I know I haven't done one for ages. I actually have barely played in this world for the last month or two. So it's good to be back here doing some redstone. And today we're going to be looking at uh, a version of a block swapper I made. Uh, now, this is because I was watching Lit Zippo's most recent video, most recent in Sorum Server episode. He was messing around with redstone and stuff and he had this huge ass block swapper that he was using. And I've kind of had a bit of experience with block swappers um uh I'll, I'll see if i can whip up i'll go just quickly get that uh something that you may recognize just do this we'll not get those uh we just need just one block we need two up the top like that and like that 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 and we'll grab out a button uh we'll go out one box up. now this is a a T flip flop. I was just checking to make sure it worked. Uh, this is a kind of old style T flip flop before the uh, glitch with the pistons. Did you see that slime spawn in there? Must be a glitch. Um, before the uh, the the thing you could do with pistons, where you could one tick pulse them and the, leave the block out. This is kind of the old style T flip flop. And of course, you press the button and then it'd switch back, and then you'd had your signal, obviously. So I have messed around with block swappers using this principle, uh, and um, oops, and uh, yeah, I've came up with something. If I can knock all this out, I came up with something uh, fairly useful. I think this is it. Uh, I've added in the floor just for um, just just to kind of get a sense of how it's going to work. So you hit the button there, and nice snapshot feature on the O6 uh, snapshot. And you can see it's super fast. As soon as you hit the button, boom, straight away. And you can see it pops up to ground level like this. Very, very quick. Now, how it works, uh, this concept has kind of been done to death. And you would have seen this style of block swapper possibly before. Uh, but I actually added a few functionalities. And I've been messing around with some of the functions. And I've also added a kind of pop-up light function, which I will get to in a sec. But essentially, you come from the input here, it goes to this block here, this redstone torch here. Uh, this redstone torch could be where this block is, but being there makes it slightly smaller. <laughs> and it makes it easier to put in the pop-up light function, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. Uh, and basically, it goes to here, and it does exactly the same thing as our little setup over here, except it's except the uh, redstone torch is on the bottom of the piston. So it's exactly the same kind of concept. And if I can, I'll actually just chuck a button down here. And you can see that it switches just in the same way. Now, the only difference is that this middle piston is pushing the thing up. And basically, it's controlled by this torch here. Now, the reason it has to be controlled by this torch is because obviously it has to come down before the block swapping can happen. So basically, it comes down, it swaps, and then it pops back up. However, you would think that this redstone torch would only come back on when this button has kind of depressed, I guess. And you're exactly right. So why does this piston go back on before this torch has come on? Well, that's because I've added this little wire around the back. That's all it is, block and a wire. And basically it's hooked up to this torch here, obviously. And it pushes the, uh, the piston back up preemptively. Now, the reason this works is because this torch actually controls when this piston is going. So basically, this piston can only pop up after the block switching has been completed because this torch is this torch is controlling this piston and controlling this piston. So basically, this can't attempt to pop up before the block switching has occurred. So that's the reason why it works. And in effect, it makes it extremely fast so I'm very very happy with it uh, and it's really kind of a um, improvement on an old old design I think now I did promise you a, a pop-up light feature we just need to kind of reconfigure it like this Oop. Like this as such now what's gonna happen here is we're gonna press it this light this torch is going to turn off to allow the block stopping to occur because this torch will be affecting this piston here. 
So we need this torch to be off through the whole block swapping process, which is exactly what happens. The reason this needs to be reconfigured is so it actually points in to the torch here, obviously. And the effect it has is it actually lights up this redstone lamp. Uh, but the only problem with it is this. You can see the light only comes on when the, the button is depressed. Now, I have been trying to figure out a way around this. I haven't yet. So if you guys watching have figured out a solution for this, you can you can have a look at this. It's not too complicated to build. Um, if you guys can figure out a solution for this, uh, I, I'd like to hear it. Uh, but I guess I will do a quick tutorial here if you guys want it. Um, in fact, I'll probably do it in a separate video. It is a fairly basic concept, so chuck in the comments if you guys want a tutorial or else I probably won't bother. So thank you very much for watching this video. Go check out Litzippo's original Insorum server episode video. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. See you later, guys.